Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to Don't Starve, the game in which you try to eat a lot of things so you don't get hungry and starve. So we're gonna go right into this game. I played this game once on my uh, on my live stream and it worked out pretty well. So I'm gonna make a couple of videos on this. They'll probably be longer than usual because it's quite a long game, but it's a very very nice little game to play. So we'll just start. And you're just dropped into the middle of a world completely randomly generated like it says here and the, pretty much the objective is just to survive and it's hard it's it's quite a hard little game uh, I've got an Xbox controller on my lap which I'm going to throw away right now so yeah um, I've played this like maybe four or five proper games through in which I've just ended up dying but um, I'm just going to turn this up quickly Say, so, pal, you don't look so good. You better find something to eat before the night comes. Alright, so, picking up flowers is kind of essential. Uh, they give you health back and stuff. Sticks are made to make uh, stuff like fires. Uh, seeds are made to eat. You run up to birds and they drop them, which is actually very useful. So, grass is used for fires. Uh, this is kind of a bit like Minecraft, where you have to make things with things. Uh, but it's it's more of a survival game than Minecraft is. But they have very they have some similarities. So um, the first day you really want to just get as much stuff together for your survival as possible. Uh, whenever you hear a ding, that means that uh, you can now make other stuff. So I'm just going to go around and pick a bunch of stuff up. Uh, the clock up here tells you how long the game has been going on. Uh, so we're on day one, and th the bits that are yellow are all the day. The bit that's orange is the evening. Uh, you can still run around during the evening, uh, but your sanity will go down, which is one of your stats. Um, but other than that, it's, it's fine to go around. During the night time, you need to make a fire and you need to be in the light, or else you get attacked by Charlie. I think Charlie is its name, and it pretty much kills you in one shot. So, it's probably not a good idea to get hit by that shit. So, I've got a bunch of grass, I've got a bunch of sticks. When you've got 12 flowers, petals, you can make a garland for your head, which gives you extra sanity back every turn. Every turn, every couple of seconds or so. A fucking gobbler! There's a turkey over here, you can't get it yet though. You need to feed it some mushrooms and it just dies. It's really cool. You get some drumsticks off it. There's a bee there next to my flower, which I want to take. You can kill beehives, but it's quite hard. But you get some really good uh, honey from it. Which is very useful. That gobbler actually eats all of my food if uh, it comes near me. Look, it's, it's, going, it's running over to that berry bush and it's going to eat all the berries. Look, it's eating all the berries. He's eating all my berries! Stay away from my berries! What a bastard. Okay, so we're getting all the grass we can because it's really, really, really useful. And sometimes, because this place is full of all this stuff that's, you know, useful for me to pick up, but a bit later on, it's sort of hard to find grass. Depending on where you are. I mean, some places like this, this hayfield, is very easy to find grass. Uh, rabbits are too fast to catch, usually. You need a trap to catch them and put a carrot down. Um, in fact, I might do that now. Can I make a trap? Yeah, let's make a trap. So we got a trap. We're going to put it down. And we're going to put a carrot under it. So let's bait that. And let's walk away. Let's see if the rabbit comes out. Come on, little rabbit. Come out of your hole. Come on. I'm just going to leave it. There's, no, there's nothing to worry about. I'm just running away. There's nothing to worry about. My god, is that rabbit just not going to come out of its hole again? Fine. I'll pick up my trap and I'll find another rabbit to catch. Yeah. Alright, so this is a road. Roads you can go down much faster than just normal running. Which is always good. Uh, always want saplings. Sticks are one of the most important things in the game. Uh, it's about to hit evening time, so we've got to find a place to camp up for the night. Uh, we've got four berries, two carrots, and a bit of s a few seeds. 
for our health. Our health is here. Well, it's our hunger, sorry, not health. And, alright, now I want to find somewhere to... Oh my god, look at all that. Oh my god, it's a pig place. Um, we need to not go near there because the pigs will murder us. Although, the pig king is around there, which I want to go and see at some point because he gives you gold, which is one of the most important items in the game. Uh, we do need to find a good place to go rest, though. Somewhere away from enemies. Uh, and hope kind of near, near trees is kind of essential. Because you want to be chopping down trees during the night. So, oh shit, we can't make a campfire. We need to go back. We need some, we need some wood. Shit. I did not realize that. Alright, so let's go back to where we started, around there. Hopefully we'll get there before night time. Because if we don't have wood, we can't make fire. If you can't make fire, you're dead. You are, you actually just die. So th there we go. Found some, we found some trees. Hey, I've also found a skeleton. Oh my god, a top hat! Sick! I don't even know what that does. Alright. It's kind of cool. Uh, I found a top hat. I think that's kind of hard to make. Okay, so we're going to make an axe. An axe costs... I can't remember. It costs sticks and flint. And you can just chop down trees. And there we go. So let's put down a campfire. Bing! There we go. Let there be light. So throughout the night we pretty much need to be chopping down as many trees as we can. That will give us all the wood we need. Um, you need to stay in pretty much one place, and chopping down trees takes a while. So, you want to do that during the night when you just can't move around and explore. Um, it, it's pretty much impossible to kill any uh, animals without some sort of ranged stuff. So, let's just pick up all this, pick up the sapling, just pick up everything near us. Because, there's nothing... oh, give me those seeds. Come here, birds. Give me some seeds. No, they don't want to give me seeds. Seeds uh, are pretty good food, actually, if you cook them. So we're gonna go cook some food in a second. Keep us nice and uh, nice and healthy. Nom nom nom. There are some foods that you probably shouldn't eat, like mushrooms, uh, but they are kind of useful if if you know what you're doing with them. All right, so we need to get over to our fire because we're in the dark. So let's put some pine cones on our fire. Nom 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 nom. All the pine cones. And then we're going to cook our seeds. And then we're going to eat them. Nom nom nom. And then some berries, I think. Cook all our berries. Some roasted berries. Mmm, who doesn't want some roasted berries on our fire? Let's eat all of these. Yeah, baby. So we're at full hunger. Um, full health. Let's go pick up these saplings. We can just about see them. And we're not going to get attacked by the Charlie. I think it's Charlie. I'm so sure his name's Charlie. Which kind of makes no sense. Better him than me. I love I love his voice. Listen. Listen to his voice. Take that nature. <laughs> oh, I like this guy. Take that nature. That'll teach him. Cut down. I cut it down in the prime of its life. It's big. It's heavy. And it's wood. That's a log reference from Ren and Stimpy. Just letting you know. It's a very sharp rock. Grass. Ready for arts and crafts. Twigs. It's a small bunch of twigs. You can also eat these petals at some point. But you can also make them into a garland. Which helps your sanity out. But I've already got a top hat which does the same thing. Alright, so we're going to go explore. Um, we're going to go this way, I think. The next thing we really need to look for is gold. Gold allows us to make a science machine. And that's what it's called, a science machine. So this is where the pigs are. But I don't see the pig king. I'm fairly sure that they're, they're protecting the king, but I don't know. I can't see the king, but we can. We can see it on the map, so if we ever want to come back, we can come back. You press tab to view the map. This this is a really, really, really good game, though. That is, that's all I can say about it. Fantastic game. I'll probably make this into, like, 20-minute-plus parts. 
Just because, the, you know, there's a lot of time to go in this. Uh, so we're on day two, so... What is it, five minutes per day? Leave me alone, B. I don't want to fight you. I just want your flowers. Boink. Boink. Flowers give you one health back. And you start with about 150. So it's, it's not insanely good. But at the same time, it's definitely not bad. So we want to get this carrot... Uh, this is a ring thing, which actually is very useful later on. Uh, but, at the moment it's not very useful, and I've never got to the point where I actually need to use it. So if I have to drop it at some point, I will. But at the moment it's just like, pick up some food, pick up some food, get all the food you can. Because food is actually kind of scarce in this game. Alright, we're going we're gonna to try and catch this rabbit. So I'm going to put the trap down here, put a carrot in there. I don't want to eat it, I want to bait it! Okay, so let's move over here. Did I actually... There's no carrot under that. Did I actually not bait it? Okay, there we go. The rabbit's going in. Come on, rabbit. Show me. Show me you can go into my trap. <laughs> it's a trap, rabbit. Don't go for it. It's going to cost me my carrot, but I get a rabbit out of it. Nom, nom, nom. Yeah, now we murder the rabbit. There we go, all murdered. Nice and murdered. Uh, if we find a pig king, we can actually get a piece of gold for that rabbit meat. So yeah, meat is actually kind of hard to find. Just saying. Uh, so we've got the berries on a big forest. Um, don't really need a forest right now. I need a piece of gold. Which is hard to find. You need to find a thing. There's a mandrake, which I think just... Uh, it knocks you out for a while, which is strange. I'm going to follow this path. Usually following the path helps. You can find decent things. Like rocks and stuff. Man, that's the second Mandrake I've seen. Usually find like one, one per game. Fucking third Mandrake, what the hell? It's Mandrake Falls or something? Uh, I see a lot of flowers. Usually if there's a load of flowers, there's something there. Uh, there's a pig house with pigs. You can hire those pigs to fight for you if you kill a spider and steal some monster meat. But I don't have any monster meat. I haven't found any spiders that I can fight yet. Plus, I don't really need a pig right now. There's a rock. Boulder thing, but it doesn't have any gold in it. But I'm going to get it with my pickaxe. So we made a pickaxe. Equip that thing. Get some rocks. Rocks are kind of good. And flint is always good as well. We only have three flint, they're kind of hard to find if you don't have a rock to destroy. What the fuck is that sound? You guys hear that? It sounds like something's burning. Uh, oh, seeds. Seeds are on the floor. Alright, it's getting late. Yeah, for the first five days you pretty much want to explore pretty much everything you can. Oh, a spear! Sick! A gnome and that. The box thing. Um, but I just, I can't do it, man. I can't pick those up, I just don't have any room. A gold! A gold rock! A gold rock! I found a fucking gold rock! These are so rare! These are so fucking rare, it's unreal. They're so hard to find. I found a gold rock! It's a gold nugget! Uh, oh, I can't pick that down. Okay, I'm gonna eat my seeds. There we go. And there we go, boys and girls. I just saw a spider running around. I'd better get out of here soon. Uh, but we are in the middle of a forest. I could actually just cut down as many trees as I could. There's a spider's nest near us. My god, look at all those spiders. we got to make our way out of here. Fairly soon. Oh, it's following me! Run away! Um, where are we? Fuck, we're just in the middle of a big old forest. Hi, pig house. Pick a flower, why not? Uh, shit, we just got a piece of gold as well. Pretty happy with that. Um, Alright, found the road again, I think. There it is. Found the road, got a bit of gold. What more could you want? I'm probably going to pop down a fire around here. Oh, actually, there's a... Ooh! Oh, oh, there's a grave there. You can dig up graves. 
but it's right on there. It's right there. Fuck. Right next to a spider's nest. I, c I can't be here. The spider's everywhere. Alright, let's just, let's just move away. Let's move away. Um, and we'll just make a, a fire around here or something. There we go. This should be fine. So let's pop down a fire and start chopping down trees. Uh, where the fuck is the tree? Well, let's cook some berries, eh? Did I just say where's the tree? I'm so bad. Okay, I'm gonna make a science machine. Because science machines are... It, bit, it pretty much makes it so you can build things that you couldn't before. So you can build a backpack, which is so good. It gives you eight extra slots, which is great. And it also just allows you to make a hell of a load of other shit. Um, but for now, for now, I think we should just chop down some trees. Uh, where is my axe? Where is my axe? There it is. Choppy choppy. Choppy your pee pee. If anyone gets that, you've watched too much wrestling. I'm going to use uh, my pine cone as some fuel for my fire. Nom nom nom. Tasty tasty. There's a pig house over there. I can see a snout pressed up against the window. Oh shit. I have run out of axe. My axe is dead. I must build another axe. Okay. So our science machine, it breaks objects down into the scientific components. That's lovely. Um, what other things you want to make? Oh, the biggest one I want to make is a shovel. Uh, shovels are really good. It allows you to dig up uh, a lot of things. Pitchfork, razor, none of those are actually that useful. Um, once you've built it with the science machine, you can build it um, anywhere else. So I'm going to make some rope. I'm going to make some boards. Which allow you to make a straw hat, apparently. Which is cool. Yeah, rope and... Oh, God. We need to actually put stuff on our fire. Let's put some petals on there. Oh, it's daytime. So, okay. We have to kind of leave our science machine behind. We can't break it. Unless we get the hammer, which I don't think actually gives you gold back. I'm not 100%. In fact, I'm going to build a hammer. Hammer needs rocks. Man, I haven't got any rocks. How do I not have any rocks? Oh, yeah, I use them for the science machine. Well, it's not that big a deal. Let's pick these seeds. And let's just move on. We could always go back to that science machine if we needed to build more stuff, but the the essential thing, which was the the shovel, which actually I need to use right here. <coughs> Excuse me, I was just sneezing. Um, what the fuck is my shovel? Oh, it's over there. Okay, so you want to dig up the grave, and there's some really good things in graves. Well, there is 10% chance of digging up a ghost. A gourd's not. Uh, oh man, another piece of gold. And another gravestone. Graves are really good. Another gnome. A ball and a cup. You give these to the pig king if you can find him, he gives you a fuck ton of gold. Because he just likes that shit. We find a gold rock again, so we can make another science machine if we need one. Which, I I've, I've played a game where I've played through like 10 days, not found a piece of gold. It was one of the worst things ever, just running around, no gold whatsoever. So, I guess that just illustrates how hard it is to find gold, I guess. But these graves are just, like, so damn essential to dig up if you want to get gold. So let's, uh, where do we want to go? Where do we want to go? Maybe a bit into this forest here. Uh, so let's just, let's just run on in. You can also burn down forests if you want to, just to be a little bit of a dick. But yeah, it, it's kind of good too because you can get charcoal from it. So I might actually do that. In fact, let's try that now. Slide a torch. All right, so run away from it, and I'll just set a fire. Forest fire. Forest fire! <laughs> do do do. Holy shit. I don't, I don't think I've ever actually done that to that extent. And I think if you chop down these trees, they give charcoal. There we go. Uh, I do need to drop something though. Well, we don't need rope right now. 
Charcoal is used for... Uh, not 100% actually. What is it for? I think it's used to make fires. When you have got your actual base. So just chop down all the trees. Oh my god, I don't want that! Just put it down. Let's just eat these. There we go. Now I've got another space. I'm also going to drop these boards in a second. Do do do! Gotta chop down trees. This game is so addictive, by the way. I, I've had times when I'm just like, I can't sleep because I, I'm like, I really want to play Don't Starve. You definitely should check out this game, guys. It's like one of the best little addictive survival games out there. One of those just like sandbox games where you can pretty much do whatever you want. Alright. I've got enough for now. So let's, uh. Where did we come from? Let's see, let's see. I think I'm gonna go back down here. Yeah, I'm gonna go back down there. I've gotta stop flipping the. the, uh. map, by the way, because it's really bad for me. So let's do that so it's just straight south. Uh, yeah, so we're gonna go straight south because I'm so sure the pig king's around. Those pigs were fighting for the king. So if I can find the pig king, I can give him the gnome and the ball in a cup and the gourd's not. And we can we can get some real gold. Some like I think he gives you like eight pieces sometimes. He gives you two to eight, depending on the the junk. It's funny how he likes junk. That's a wormhole. You can jump in a wormhole and it takes you to some random other wormhole. So it's like a teleport. I just need to search around for this, uh, this pig king. And I also want to make a hammer. Because I want to smash some things down. Ba -doo 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 -doo. I hear something on fire. Okay. Is that where the pig king was? Yeah, it was. So... These pigs just want to defend. But why are they defending? I can't find the pig king. Is he down this way or something? He must be somewhere around here. Then again, I'm, I've, I've only heard about the pig king being defended, so maybe he's not there. Maybe he's just around somewhere else. Not 100%. Let's follow this path down a bit more. Ah, oh, great. It's raining. That's just lovely. Uh, that lowers your sanity, I think. Or your health. It's one of the two. There's one character, because there's a lot of characters you can play in this game. There's one character who actually loses health when it starts raining. And if you get struck by lightning, it makes you stronger. This, um... Oh man, manure. I found some manure. Manure is actually really interestingly good. Uh, but not essential. And also, uh, when you've got food, it, the green baron, it goes down, and if it goes down halfway, it's stale. Ah, oh, man, I found lots of those bison things. What are they called? Beefaloes, aren't they? Ugh. This ain't that good. I really would like to find a pig king. Alright, I found a, like, a little, little forest here. Oh, God. Lightning. Oh, I think I've only seen lightning a couple of times. Uh, it's about to really turn into dark, so I better put down a fire. Okay. When it's raining, you have to put loads of fuel on the fire, so I better start doing that. Let's put some rope on the fire. That's always good. Do 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 ba do do do. I'm chopping down all the trees because what you do. Da -da 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 -da. Oh shit. I set fire to everything! Move! Oh, I just load, lost a load of health there. I'd better cook shit and eat it. Uh, cooked morsel, nom nom. Cook some carrots and eat those. Also better put some fuel back on this fire. So, I gained a bit of health off that. I'd better start eating these petals. You eat these petals, you, I think you get one health for each of them, so I'm just going to eat them all. I don't eat them for anything else. Although if you pick them up, when you pick them up, you get one sanity for actually just the picking them up. So that's pretty good. 
Man, is it is it gonna just lightning again? I hope not. Alright, we're almost at day four now. Ba -do -ba -do. Let's pine cone this to death. Pine cone, pine cone. Reminds me of that Pokemon, Pine Co. Who uh is a pine cone, apparently. We're actually out of food now. We need to find some food in the next day. Our uh, hunger's down to 108. I'm not sure how how often that goes down, but after a couple of days you will be starving and your stomach will be all shriveled up. We can move in about a second or so, come on, there we go. Alright, so let's move on. Um, I might jump in this hole. I've actually just found a berry bush, which is good because we always need more food. I tend not to eat during the day either, because you want to cook your food, it gives you more health and other things. Um, these are evil flowers, they're used for magic, uh, but when you pick them up you lose sanity. Man, I found a fair few berry bushes, it's actually really good, because I have needed food. Come on, let's uh, just have a quick look around and then I'm going to jump in that hole. Just big forests. Absolutely just huge forests. Running out of a bit of grass. When I have 15 left, I think I had about 30 or something. Alright, I found another road. Of course, I'm going to pick up every berry bush I can. That red mushroom hurts you if you eat it, so don't pick those up unless you're just going to keep them to feed to other animals and make them die. Which happens. It does happen. Oh, I found random rocks. Usually there's something round when there's random rocks on the floor. Another berry bush. You can have food for a couple of days at this rate. Rocks. Rocks. I'm gonna follow them to the to the rock. Oh, I, I found a stalagmite. A plugged sinkhole. If you break that, it opens up a whole new world underground, but it's really hard. It's completely dark at all times. Um and bats come out of it, which can really murder you, and it's not a good idea to open it unless you know what the fuck you're doing. And I know that it's not a good idea to go down there right now. Uh, oh, a grave, a grave, I found a grave. Uh, shovel it up. Dig that shit. Found another gnome, yay! Just these bits of junk, give them to the pig king. Get some good shit. Uh, green mushroom, you can dig these up. Get some mushrooms. I'll have them for now. I'll probably drop them though. Because I'm not, I'm not quite sure what they do. They hurt you in ways and heal you in others. But unless you know exactly what you're doing with them, it's probably not a good idea to eat them. Uh, but this is pretty much just one of those places with a bunch of spiders' nests. Spiders drop silk, which is used for traps. Uh, you can get a bird trap with it. Which you only need seeds to get them in, but spiders actually kind of suck to fight. They hurt. Uh, where the hell am I going? Okay, I'm trying to find the road now. First four days, da 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 da. Alright, so it's eventually we're going to have to find a base of operations. Uh, I'm going to jump into this wormhole now, find my way somewhere else. Jumpy jumpy! You do lose some sanity going in there though, which can affect you. Fucking found a gold place! I found a gold thing! Uh, oh my god, three gold boulders! Where the fuck is my pickaxe? There it is. Three, four, five, six. You can tell if it's a gold uh, thing because it's got little gold bits in it, which is just fantastic, man. Wow, a bunch of gold. You need six gold for an alchemy machine, which is the upgrade to the science machine. So getting ten gold is pretty much essential to make a base. And once I've got ten gold, I will start making a base. Oh my god, I got two gold from that. That's so good. I got two gold from the last two. I think there's only a 25% chance of getting uh, an extra gold from that, so I got quite lucky there. Uh, some seeds to eat later on. Happy days. Another gold boulder? Man, am I doing pretty good here. I am pretty happy with this. 
Mine the boulder, mine the boulder, do 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 do. <clears throat> What's he say about the gold? He says, I can't eat it, but it sure is shiny. Okay, uh, is there any more gold? Because I could do with it. It's pretty scarce. Was that a road? I went really fast down it. <laughs> it sure is. Uh, there's another gold boulder. Uh, it's getting dark soon, and we're almost dying of starvation, so we better sort out something to eat. There are ten, ten bits of gold. There's a berry bush there. We've got seven berries. We're not actually too far from here, so that's nice. We're not, we didn't actually go too far. There's a swamp that way. You do not want to go in swamps. You will get murdered. Swamps are pretty much the hardest bit of the game. Man, there's so much gold. I, I feel like I'm I'm going to end up somewhere really bad, though. Like, all of this gold will kill me at some point. Like, I'll walk into, like, one of the big enemies. Uh, there's a thing called a tall bird, which is really fast and will chase you and will kill you. Especially if you take its eggs. Don't take its eggs, just say them, boys and girls. Okay. Don't really need any more rocks right now. I want all the gold I can get. We've got 14 right now. Well, at this rate, I probably won't even need uh, to go to the Pig King, because that's where I usually get my gold, but I just found so many of these. Um... I'm going to have to set up camp in a second, though, for day five. Doo -doo -doo. Okay, so I'm going to set up camp near something I can, you know, grind up, like some trees, probably here. All right, uh, all right we'll go this way a little bit, because we haven't been this way. And if we find anything at all that we can grind, I'm going to put down a fire next to it. There we go, there's, a, there's a, another gold boulder. Let's put it down here. Set campfire, build campfire, there we go. More mining to be done. Whoops. We're out of pickaxe. Alright, so let's put some of this on the fire. Well, let's put charcoal on the fire. Good news. Alright. So we got all the gold we need to make our base. Uh, I would like to find a good place to have a base. But first let's eat. Let's cook up a nice meal of berries. Cooking all the berries, boys and girls. Do 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 do. Happy days, oh happy days. Eating all the berries. There we go. Just eat them all. We're up pretty much full health now. Um, I'm going to put some boards on there, just because. Let's put the gnome on there. Alright, um, I think, I think five days, is, uh, four days, is a perfect way to end this game. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this, guys. This should be a bit longer than my usual videos, just because it's a long game in general. Um, I hope, really hope you enjoyed this. Hope it's kind of got you wanting to play it, because it's... Yeah, it's an interesting game. Uh, I'll see you guys next time. Bye bye. Rate, comment, subscribe. 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 Rate, comment, subscribe.